I've been a Clip Studio ho since it was Manga Studio. Hey baby, my commissions are open. Hey roomies, welcome to my classroom. Want to change a line weight? Use the correct line weight tool. You can change how much you can scale it up or scale it down. You can use thicken or narrow to change the look of a line. You can use fixed width to make the line more uniform. If you overshoot your lines, you can easily erase them with the vector erase tool. Since it's vector, you can use the select object tool and play around with the points. But if you inked on a raster layer, you can convert the layer to vector. Just know that your fills will be affected, so do your fills on a separate layer. 3D models are a godsend when you have a certain angle you have to draw and you just can't figure it out. But isn't that cheating? Let me ask you, is using a picture cheating? Is using a pose website cheating? Is looking in the mirror of you doing the pose cheating? Then is corn grass? No, it is not. It's another type of reference tool. You will not go far by just tracing this. Boy, me, I'm right. You need the knowledge of anatomy and body expression. Think of this as a puppet that you can put in the exact pose and angle you need. And you can use it for drawing. <laughs> Break it down like you would do any reference. If posing it is hard, use a shortcut. The pose scanner lets you upload a photo of a person and it will make a pose based on that photo. Can it work with anime figures? Sometimes, but it depends on how it's shot, I guess. You can make your figure fat, skinny, tall, short, guy, girl, and change how big the parts are so you could have a normal person, or you could have Barbie, a Rob Liefeld man, or Slender Man. You could save them for later, or you could create a... In the software, you have access to Clip Studio assets. People made all sorts of patterns, brushes, 3D models, 3D poses, screen tones, even whole backgrounds. Some of them you need gold to pay for, but a ton of them are free. Use them to enhance your art. But can you find God? Well, fuck. Huh? Introducing Subview. Yeah, that's a weird name for this tool. The Subview lets you open an image you might be using as a reference. However, if you click switch to eyedropper automatically, now you can just go to it and pick the color you want without constantly having to hit your hotkeys. But the Subview name makes it sound like a bad view. Like my mirror. What? Everyone loves symmetry. Twin popsicles, Wes Anderson. <laughs> And this tool lets you draw on one side and it also draws on the other. I use this as a shortcut. However, even though this tool is helpful, you don't want to make your work too sterile with it. So this past weekend, I was at Kineticon and I did a panel called Clip Studio Paint Basics. And surprisingly, a lot more people were intimidated by this program than I thought. So I hope that these little tips just made it a little less crazy looking to you. I hope I taught you something, and if I didn't, it's probably because I'm a crappy teacher and I should start looking for a real job. I need how many years experience? I just want to thank all the patrons, Casey K, The Real Kit Nathaniels, DK Jones, Jay McGillifray, Rags the Magical Girl Mascot, Jen Mart, Kackstrem, AJ Martinson, Marissa Robertkop, Jeffrey Voss, Aaron Clark, Terry Fanatics, and UA Wrong.